Good Life Street Stars, Rook, Charlie Moe. We in here with Showtime. What's up with it? What's up, y'all? Showtime, I want you to um, tell us where you from. I'm originally from Louisiana. I've been out here thugging in the cliff. I came out of South Oak Cliff in 2009 and been here since. Ain't never looked back. Real talk. Um, how long you been dancing? Four years. Four it's years. been four years in August. How'd you get the name Showtime? Ah, <laughs> ah. I started out doing a, a shows at a gay club, and I had this one particular fan. And every time I used to get on stage, they used to just be like, "Showtime, Showtime." I used to go by Monet. So when I went up to Onyx, they was like, "You can't go by Monet, cause we already got one." So what's your name gonna be? Shit. Showtime, I guess. I was already doing the poll a little bit, so shit. After the years, that shit just started running. Ran with it. Real talk. Um, everybody knows you from the pole. You work at dance on the pole. How'd you learn how to do that? You got any gymnastics background, anything like Ooh. that? Yeah, I grew up doing track and gymnastics since I was five. That's really where I got my body from. It just got a little bit more detail as I started getting into the pole, but I used to watch this girl named Anastasia Sokolova. She's like the best pole dancer overseas in Australia. And she is just bad. And I sit, smoke weed, watch her. And it's like when I get on that stage, I just start performing. It's like in the music. I just feel that vibe. It's it an art. To me. So it's like an art, art form. Yeah. Okay. Like everything is critique and a lot of people be asking me like, what's your workout plan? How long you stay in the gym? Like for over six years, nothing. That pole, that pole is my workout plan. I ain't on no type of diet. I don't take no kind of protein shake, no kind of vitamins. I, don't, I think I should be like 230 pounds by now, the way I carry myself and eat, honestly. Mm -hmm. But I just got a high metabolism, so shit. I ain't had no kids. I just turned 25. It's just, it's sticky with me. I just say, I'm just blessed. Raw talent, raw talent. Uh, speaking of music, let's go back to the music. Uh, what artists are you feeling right now that, uh, that got songs that you feel that you can work the pole to? Right now? Ooh. I got a few, like right now, I'm really fucking with 2 Chains and Future right now. Um, as local artists, I really all of them, you know what I'm saying? Any, anything the DJ play, he throw at me, shit, I turn up out that shit. Sometimes I really don't be knowing who song it is until, you know what I'm saying, I meet them or they say who it is, honestly, you know? So it's just like, that's what that is. It used to be Jeezy, but I ain't really just feeling him right now. You're not feeling the new Jeezy? No, I'm not feeling the new Jeezy right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm back to the old Jeezy, you know, the motivation and, you know, the yeah. real is back, <laughs> you know. All uh, right. Um, when I first met you, you had a, a partner you used to dance with. Her name was um, Chocolate. Why are you solo now? Um... <laughs> like, don't do it like that. Um, it's, re <laughs> it's really just, we live in two different separate lives right now, you know, and a lot of clubs are opening. We both started off at Onyx, you know what I'm saying? That's how we bring together. Me and Chocolate been knowing each other before we even started dancing. So, like, other clubs start opening, you know, we try them out. I don't like them. I go right back to Onyx. She ends up staying. So that's like kind of separated us from a little bit of time. And um, that's just why we don't dance together no more. And then we do click back up like during polathons and stuff like that. But this polathon that's coming up, I don't think we gonna really do anything together. Let, let, let's elaborate on the polathon. Please yeah. elaborate on the polathon. What's going on? Oh, it's really, a lot going on. 
when I first started doing the polo thumb, we thought we was finna be like just in this thing. We like, yes, we finna get in here, we finna get our name, we finna be chocolate show, all this with the boo. But over the years, I guess a lot of shade been getting thrown, a lot of hatred, you know. So it kind of like kind of blocked our shine. So last year when they did the polo thumb, they started changing it from the competition to just a showcase. It used to be we could compete for a large amount of money. It used to be times me and Chocolate should have won that thing like four times in a row. But, you know, they got who they got. You know, they are under the table thing. So it'd be a lot of whoopity whoop whoop stuff, whatever you want to say. But as far along as this year, I'm just really just looking at it as fun, going up there and doing my thing. Because last year, I'm thinking it's a competition. I passed out. Went up there, went hard, and it was just a showcase. Hell, I could have just did a simple three, four minute regular show, you know? So this year, I'm just gonna have fun with it. Whatever it do, is what it is. Um, what's the craziest thing you've seen in a strip club? That's the craziest thing I ever seen in a strip club. Like, have you seen strippers fight, you know? <laughs> That's have you ever hard. seen that strippers? New. Have you nothing. seen strippers give the DJs top? <laughs> In the DJ booth? <laughs> <laughs> um, Shout out to Papa Ron. <laughs> well, the craziest thing as far as that, I've seen strippers giving customers top. Like, that's the craziest thing to me. And customers coming there taking their clothes off when they be full of that shit. <laughs> that's about the most craziest thing I've ever seen. Other than that, I be in my own little world, smoking my weed. <laughs> <laughs> Where did my show time? So, um, I heard you teach pole classes. I do. I uh, do. How? I would love for a lot of women to enhance into their entertainment. Because it seems like nowadays, this generation, it's all about entertainment. It ain't about the shaking ass no more. It's entertainment to me. So. Um, I know that you've been in, you know, dancing a lot of strip clubs. Um, what's your favorite strip club to dance in? My home is Onyx. I've danced and I've tried to experience a lot of other strip clubs, but they just, they vibes is not getting it like my vibe at Onyx. Like, that's my home. Oh, really? Is there, do you go to other strip clubs to what I would say, uh, just watch what's going on, like a secret shopper or something, you know what I mean? Do you observe to see, you know, the, the no, crowd? I don't. The only time I go to strip clubs is if I go to dance or work. Other than that, I don't. Uh, I be trying to get some rest, cause yeah. I be doing so much on my own time, I be trying to get rest. I be trying to stay out the street, stay up out the way. It's hard trying to stay out the way being showtime, shit like, Outside the club, I be trying to have on little hats and stuff, you know. Yeah. That's your time right there? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> you know, so, like, nah, I don't. Yeah. I be wanting to sometimes. Don't get me wrong, but it just don't be into me. I see enough of it doing it, working. That's yeah. just like, do I go out and kick it sometimes? No. So you don't go to regular clubs? No. Or? I haven't uh. been to Park Avenue. I didn't, even when it was Beamers. Uh, Medusa, what's the other clubs y'all go to? Shit, it ain't uh, Austin many. Avenue, <laughs> all that. Many. Like, I've heard of them and I wanted to go to them, but it's just. So, what like, do you do no. on like a birthday? A party. <laughs> At work. <laughs> party. <laughs> That's when it's really time to turn up. <laughs> Shout out to DJ Tuss. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, two weeks in a row. <laughs> yeah, I didn't been to the club, you know, I just seen you perform, like, but you go like to the top of the pole and stuff like that. Do you ever get scared or anything no. like that? <laughs> no, not at all. And it's not even like one time I've ever felt, and I think it's just for God been with me, it's whatever, but it's kind of like gymnastic on a pole in the air. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's basically like to me. Dominique Dawkins. <laughs> <laughs> Dominique Dawkins, uh, this, I'm a little, you know, a little older, so, you know, 
We used to watch her in the Olympics, but uh, I'm going to call you that. Okay. That's your new line. <laughs> when I was growing up, I used to be called Flojo. So. <laughs> Does the, um, when you're on the pole, does the alcohol have a play or anything? I mean, are you, does it mess you up or does it get you better? Sometimes. It depends on how much I've drunk in the time of that. What about the kush? The kush, it plays a big part. (laughs) It enhances, (laughs) it enhances like. Takes you higher, huh? (laughs) Yes. It, it seems like it makes everything slower for me, and it makes me go up gradually. As why as being sober, it's like I'll be struggling. It might not look like I'm struggling to y'all, but I'll be struggling. <laughs> but with that weed, I'll be good. And you know what? I did a lot of videos these past two weeks for my birthday, and they was like eight to nine minutes long. And I don't really get to watch myself like I really want to. And I'm like, damn, bitch, you really doing all this for eight, nine minutes long? You ain't stopped to, you know, breathe it, clap a little booty. Like, you ain't did nothing. Just trick after trick after trick after trick. I don't understand how I do it, but I do it. (laughs) Have you worked with any uh, any artists in music videos? And if not, would you like to? Um, I would love to actually. Lately, as of being Showtime, no. But like when I first started, yeah, I did like a video with Lil Ronnie back when he used to have that um, work that pole. Yeah, <laughs> we was young. We didn't know what we was doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, shoot, compared from then to now, I'm like, bitch, you ain't doing nothing. <laughs> But yeah, I would love to work with a lot of artists. Like um, that Rihanna video, Pour It Up. If I would've known about that addition, I would've been, ooh. I'm sorry, that girl ain't have nothing on me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna be for real. She real had nothing starts. on me. She was good though, she really was. Just, um, what's the most money you made in one night? Let's see. I want to say a little over 3000 And that's by myself. By myself. Together with me and Chocolate, because that's like the only partner I've ever made the most money with, a little over 6000 Because we ended up splitting like three something a piece. And that was the first polython we did. We weren't even competing. We was just like, we just wanted to do it. And they came and they was like, hey, do y'all think y'all could be good enough to like just compete? And we was like, okay, whatever. Got out there and killed that shit. <laughs> what hood throws the most money? What Dallas? Oh, let me think. For me. For me, let's see. God, I can't even tell you because it's so many. Like the DJ, he throws so many. So it's like the whole time I'm just... Study getting money, so it's like two chain in future right now at the moment. Throwing a little Jeezy, you know what I'm saying? Little throwbacks, cause I fuss with Lil John, who you with? <laughs> like that song will never get old. So like, pretty much them songs, any hook from them songs. Um, what's the downside of stripping? The downside of stripping. Hmm. Drama. Yeah, do you like do y'all have to face uh some shit like diamond when nigga come chase you after the club or follow you home or anybody touching you the wrong way? Oh, uh, uh, it's plenty of that. It's a lot of that. Like I be wanting to knock niggas out on the cool. Like a uh, guy Please can make respect you feel the strippers. Some guys come in there acting crazy, you know. They'll wait outside in the parking lot for you. Be having to sneak out from the club, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit, like unreal, like real shit. It's real, some crazy people out there. You know, you got young people that be lurking. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people done got robbed. I've been robbed before. You know, all depend on because of who I am, and everybody knows I get money. You know what I'm saying? When them competitions and events come around, you know what I'm saying? You got some desperate people that be out there just really be bad on their luck and be like, oh, say, 
we finna go get whoever, you know what I'm saying, getting that money, bro. We finna go watch, we finna go lurk. So that plays a lot of part into into the uh, business as well. Fuck all you strip club jackals. Get your hustle. <laughs> like real talk. <laughs> Cause that is not a hustle. <laughs> I don't know who told y'all. <laughs> um, how important it is to brand yourself while you're dancing? It's very important. While you're dancing, it's very important. Because you're in here to make money while you're dancing. Outside of dancing, it's very important because you want to get a brand for yourself to be able to make more money, get people to come to the club, which is something that I kind of just now starting to do trying to brand myself you know mess with the instagram a little bit do a little facebook and you know do a little mingling but it plays a big part a big part if you don't brand yourself you're not gonna be known you're not gonna get nowhere you know uh, really? <laughs> uh, really? what do you what do you see yourself a couple years from now two years from now being 27, wow. I don't even think I should be still be in the strip club no more, honestly. I think I should be up there getting booked. I think I should have my own studio by then because that's what I'm working on, you know. I teach classes a little bit on the side now, you know what I'm saying, but I want to make it an official thing, like get my own brand, my own studio and things like that. We don't have that really out here in Dallas. So, two years from now, yeah, I should be. Showtime for real. <laughs> yes, real talk, real talk. <laughs> yes. Um, so you know, being in the game and you being a dancer, and for a female that's just, you know, she decides that she wants to become a dancer, what would you tell her? Ooh. Make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. It's not what you do, it's how you do it, honestly. A lot of people think that Oh, you can just get into the game and I'm finna go do this and I'm finna go do that just for some money. Like, nah, you, it's, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. <laughs> you know, like me, I got into the game and I found something I love, which is into the pole. A lot of girls that's getting into the game, they're like, that's what they want to do. My thing is, if that's something you want to do, be passionate with it, go for it, and like just stick with it because the money going to come. Like, you can't get unfocused. You got to stay focused. Already, uh, already. Uh, How can they come see a Showtime show? What can they see at? Onyx. What days? That is what the time? only place. Onyx. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh, and on day shift, too, because I'm loving the day shift. So, really, all day and night. But Onyx is the only place you can catch me, only because we got the 30 foot pole and our DJs be turning up. <laughs> Anywhere else, I can't get it. <laughs> so uh, you, you got any Instagram information? I do, at Tellem it's underscore, it's Showtime, T-E-L-L-E-M underscore, I-T-S-S-H-O-W-T-I-M-E. Already. We in here with Showtime, a true real life street star.